going to do the gyne setup. So uh, this is generally for your DNCs, your suction DNCs, um, anything from a uh, vaginal, what is it, hysteroscopy even. So this is basically how you would set up your back table. Again, a lot of your places will only require for you to open glove, but considering the nature of this case, I would wear your gown, your booties, everything, okay? So I usually will put everything in order from one side to the next. It doesn't matter if you do it from this side, from left to right, um, or if you do right to left, it doesn't matter. And then typically you'll have like your drapes and whatever. But you will not have a mayo stand. Usually it's going to be a back table. All right. So first thing <laughs> is first with this particular one, I have a weighted Arvard weighted speculum with a 90 degree angled um, retractor. That's what they'll mostly use. Sometimes they'll use a duckbill or, um, you know, a self-retaining vaginal speculum. But if you use the weighted one, you're always going to need the night Then, like, do you guys remember? Then you'll need the tenaculum to grab the cervix to pull it closer. The one thing that we do not have here, which should go between the tenaculum and your dilators, is the sound. The sound is a measuring device that will measure the depth of the cervix so that they can have an idea on how deep they should actually dilate. Then from smallest to largest, typically you'll have some lubrication on your field. You'll have your dilators and usually you'll either have your Hank or your Hager dilators. Then from there you'll have your curettes, smallest to largest. And with the curettes, often you'll have telpha. And remember, you'll have two different types of specimen, endocervical and endometrial. So usually you'll have one piece, you could just rip it in half. You could even take your marker and put EM and EC. And you always have to separate that. Then to, I guess, after getting the specimen, then you'll have a sponge stick. Your sponge stick, like how any of you guys have been, you know, putting it together. Sometimes you'll even have a loose ray tech and a uh, dressing forcep or no teeth, you know, tissue forceps with no teeth, because sometimes they'll try to stuff it with the loose ray tech. And then lastly, a peri pad. Peri pad, what makes the peri pad is this basically has no ad, like adhesive, no sticking. And with that, and we don't have it, also comes mesh panties. The draping is an under buttock drape, then your two leggings, and some sort of fenestrated drape. So under buttocks, leggings, fenestrated drape. Your fenestrated drape more than likely will have a pouch attached to it. The pouch is basically used to catch any fluids, any blood, that sort of thing. And you'll often have a graduate that will be filled with saline. Any questions? What's filled with saline? The graduate.